Hi guys, I hope you're doing very well in this course until now. And if you have any questions, please remember to post them in the Q&A section of the course. I'll be very happy to help you and get you to move very fast in After Effects so you do the animation and the visual effects you're looking for. In this lecture, you are going to cover the keyboard shortcuts. And it's very important that you discover new shortcuts, the one you didn't know, and to assign new shortcuts if you want to or if they are not working on your keyboard, for example. Let's now bring up the shortcut keyboard and look at it, how we can work with it and learn even more about shortcuts and commands. In Windows, you will go to Edit and you will find here Keyboard Shortcuts. If you are on the Mac, you will go to After Effects CC, the first one, and you go to Keyboard Shortcuts. I think it's the third or fourth option. Nevertheless, on the Mac, please try to find it between File and Edit. Cool. Let's select the option here, Keyboard Shortcuts, which has a shortcut, which is Control Alt Apostrophe. Here you are. So what do we see here? This is a replica of my keyboard. I can assure you, take a photo of my keyboard and show you. But I have an extended keyboard with the numeric pad. And actually these keys are exactly where they are on my keyboard. So it's an actual representation. You might have something else here. You might not have the numerical pad if your keyboard doesn't have any. And maybe these ones are over here somewhere. Nevertheless, it's supposed to give you a replica of your keyboard. Now, what are we looking at? We're looking at into the application, the shortcut keys that are available. All the purple ones are shortcuts. And the one that's purple and green, it has a double function depending where you are using it from. So the one that you are seeing now, do not use any modifier keys such as Shift, Control or Alt. On the Mac, it will be Command and Option. So the key F1 is assigned to help. The key Y is assigned as a shortcut for the pan behind tool. For example, the Z here or the Z is the zoom tool. Fine. If you press shift now, you will see in purple the shortcuts that require shift. So actually you're going shift Q, shift F2, deselect all keyframes, shift F9, set keyframe to easy ease. And also you can look at the ones that use control and there are very many here. And the one that use alt or option on the Mac, there are very few. And also you can combine this. You can use shift plus control and see in purple and green purple, they have double function, all the commands that have been assigned a shortcut. This is simple. You can use the three of them if you want. Fine. So let's say here, rotate, it is W. But with the shift, it becomes nothing. With the control, it has another function. With the alt and so on. Okay, this is very complicated. Do the best way to discover what is assigned to a key on your keyboard is to click on it. Here you are. Notice what happened here. It says key W, multiple commands assigned. Well, the first one is none, meaning you didn't use any modifier key such as a shift uh, control or command and alt or option. It is rotate. So you pick the rotation tool with control. You do something else with alt. That is alt W. You will pick the roto brush or the refine edge tool with uh, the shift. There is absolutely nothing. Cool. So you can come here and discover what are the shortcuts assigned to a key or what commands have a shortcut under this key. Fine. On the left side here under command, this is in application. You have all the commands listed if they have a shortcut or not. You can change the shortcut or assign a new shortcut if you like. You notice that all these had shortcuts, but if I come to file, for example, the open T project doesn't have a shortcut. You can assign a shortcut to any one of them that doesn't have a shortcut. And you can change the assigned shortcut. Cool. So this is a discovery method and this is a search method if you like. But uh, actually, this is not the way we think. We want, for example, to center the anchor point in the middle of its own layer. It's not complicated. We are going to use it in the next section. It's very easy. So how do I discover which shortcut is to center the anchor point? Is there any shortcut? 
So the best way is to come over here and search. So I will write center. Fine. So it listed for me all the commands where the center words exist and their shortcuts. Let's make this a bit bigger. Here you are. So center layer in view is control home. Cool. Let's try it. Control. And this is the home over here. It says when there is nothing, no modifier key applied. I go to the start of the composition. Great. Now, you know, then with control. So it's control home. Move insertion point to beginning of text frame. Fine. With the alt now, it's align selected text and so on. You notice that control alt home is over here control plus alt and the home key is assigned to center anchor point in the layer content very fine so now it makes more sense for example if you want to look at the paragraph you want to format your paragraphs you want to see the shortcuts assigned to paragraph all you have to do is to search for paragraph now it listed for you all the commands where the word paragraph exists for example character and paragraph panels it listed for you all the sub commands you have a center left right all about paragraph and um, maybe more okay here you are there are very many here for paragraph notice here that you are looking in the character and paragraph panels if you come over to application you can see character and paragraph panels here you are and you notice the shortcuts here are very few because they are mostly combined with shift and control and maybe alt something like this okay so you can discover all of them about paragraph within over here cool let's go back to center and i'm coming back here because of the home key now some keyboards we go back to application also some keyboards don't have the home key within the main keyboard. They don't even have it at all, or it does other functions. And there is a conflict between After Effects and the operating system. So how do you solve the problem? You want to use center anchor point in layer content, but the home is not working. So the best way is to reassign a shortcut for center anchor point in layer content. How do you do that? First of all, you need to discover which shortcut you can use. For example, let's stick to control and alt. I hope you guys on the Mac are translating control into command and alt into option. Now, if you look at it here, the purple one and purple and green are already assigned, but uh, there is the Q over here. Or for example, the X is better. It has no shortcut to any command. So maybe we can use control, alt and X. When I click on it, of course, you have multiple command assigned for X and look, none, it does something. It does two things. In fact, control, it's a cut. Of course, you know, control X or command X, but now control and alt over here, it is not assigned. I could assign it to center anchor point in the layer content for that. I'll come just next to it and click. So I made space for a new shortcut and typically I'm going to type it on the keyboard. I'm going to type control alt and x so i press ctrl alt and x and here you are the shortcut is set fantastic let's go back and really verify and you look you see center anchor point here you are it has been assigned now this is very practical so if your keyboard is making problem or you have a broken key for a shortcut that you need you can reassign these shortcuts why are you 100 percent safe not to mess up after effects because notice what's happened here. Keyboard layout preset is set now to custom. Before it was set to After Effects default. Now it has changed directly to custom. I have one that is modified. Now there is a new one that's custom. If you like this one, you can save it and just click OK here and you will start using the new shortcuts that you have assigned. Now, thank you very much for listening and I hope you will come over to the keyboard shortcuts using the shortcut and try to assign new shortcuts discover the shortcuts that you don't know and if your keyboard or i mentioned the shortcut that's not working with you you can just reassign it if you have any questions please ask me and i will try to help you the best possible thank you i'll see you in the next lecture